Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars A Few. Today is the uh, weekly stars recap we for March 27th, 2023, which is week. There's some uh, movie news and whatnot to talk about, and well, also TV news. But um, before I do get into the news, gotta jump into the uh, new releases. Starting off with stuff that came out last week, there was uh, The Mandalorian Season 3, Chapter 20, The Foundling, which I found to be alright. Uh, you can check out my full review on that. Um, also, The Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 14, Tipping Point, came out. Which I enjoyed that episode a good bit. Uh, you can check out my full review on that one also. And also Darth Vader issue 32 came out. I haven't read that yet. But uh, coming out this week is uh, The Mandalorian Season 3 Chapter 21 uh, on March 29th, 2023. Alongside The Bad Batch Season 2 Episode 15, The Summit. And Episode 16, Plan 99 on the 29th also. Alongside The Higher Bellic Issue 7, The Higher Bellic the Blade Issue 4. And uh, Return of the Jedi Jabba's Palace one-shot all on March 29th. But uh, that's it for the new releases. Let's jump into the news. First, we learned some uh, directors for the upcoming uh, Disney Plus series Skeleton Crew, which is the uh, Oscar-winning director duo, uh, the Daniels, who uh, just uh, swept the Oscars with their uh, movie uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. You know, they won screenwriting, director, best picture, won a bunch of uh, the acting awards. It was a great movie. I really, really loved the movie a lot. But uh, it was reported on by uh, One Take News and then later The Hollywood Reporter that they will be uh, directing an episode of the series. We don't know how long the season will be for Skeleton Crew. Probably around eight because this will technically be a Mandalorian spinoff show, which obviously all the Mandalorian seasons have been eight episodes. Boba Fett was seven, so I would say around eight. But, uh, you know, it is just one episode, so... Seems like this is kind of be a one-off thing. I don't know if they'll uh, return to do any more Star Wars stuff down the line. But that's fine. I love their movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once. You know, that is probably my favorite movie uh, of, uh, for, you know, from 2022. So, you know, I'm getting more interested in uh, whatever other uh, more original idea they come up with. But uh, even though there is some good news there, there is also some uh, bad news on the uh, movie front. As the uh, film, which will be directed by uh, Sharman Abad Shinoi, it was uh, originally reported that it was going to be uh, written by Damon Lindelof, which now the report says that him and uh, his uh, co writer, uh, Justin uh, Brett Gibson, have uh, departed from the movie. Which uh, the news comes this weeks after, uh, you know, news of uh, the movie's Rogue Squadron and Kim Foggy's movie being uh, canceled. Which, during our board, it seemed like this movie was going to be uh, moving, f or had been uh, moving forward at a good pace. But with this report, you know, kind of seemingly uh, maybe what's going to stall some development on this. But then a, another report uh, came out that a uh, new screenwriter is already attached to the film, which is a Peaky Blinders creator, uh, Stephen Knight, who is probably most well known for that series. He's on a bunch of stuff. Uh, I can't say I've seen any of it. Um... But he's done a bunch of stuff. Going off of what review scores, you know, kind of all the stuff he's done varies in uh, degrees of quality, I guess. Some of it seems to be really great. Some of it, you know, not as great. And some in the middle. So, you know, that's all I can uh, really talk about the stuff he's made. Obviously, his biggest work was the uh, Peaky Blinders uh, TV series, which is one I've been meaning to watch because I, uh, I do like uh, Killian Murphy when he's in stuff and he's like the main star of that. But uh, anyways, you know, that's all there really is to talk about right now. Seems like there's a new writer on board. So it seems like maybe development on this movie won't be as stalled as it seemed like it was going to be. But uh, it does seem like the uh, movie will be revealed during Celebration um, in a week and a half. Maybe alongside uh, other movies. But, you know, with how Star Wars movies have been uh, in development recently, I'm going to hold my breath on that. Uh, and wait till there's casting news and, and like the movie's actually filming. Then I'll, uh, you know, get more into it, I guess. Right now, just with how, uh, chaotic, uh, the movie development has been, it's, you know, it's kind of harder to get, uh, excited for, uh, movies and whatnot when it never seems like they can, uh, actually get beyond the, uh, pre-production stage and into, uh, actually filming and whatnot. But, uh, like I seemingly say with everything, it's kind of wait and see um so yeah but that's uh it for the movie news there is some um little uh, comic news uh last week i talked about the uh june 2023 marvel comics which there wasn't release dates uh for them at the time but now there is which i'm just gonna go over them real quick 
Uh, on June 7th, there'll be uh, Star Wars issue 35, Return of the Jedi, The Empire one-shot, Yoda issue 8, and then on June 14th, there'll be Darth Vader issue 35, and Son of Star Wars issue 5. On June 21st, there'll be Bounty Hunters issue 35, and uh, The Mandalorian comic adaptation season 2 issue 1. And then finally, on June 28th, uh, Darth Vader, Black, White, and Red issue 3, and Dr. Aphra issue 33. So uh, that's all the uh, release dates. Also revealed was a uh, omnibus for all the uh, Higher Black Phase 1 Marvel issues, which will, you know, collect the issues 1 through 15 of the uh, main Phase 1 series, the 5-issue Trail of Shadows miniseries, and the 2-issue Eye of the Storm miniseries. And the omnibus will be released on October 17th, 2023, so probably right before Phase 3 will start up. So it's uh, nice to have that. Also, this was, uh, I think, revealed a while ago now, but... Uh, Dark Horse will be uh, collecting the uh, Phase 1 Adventure Series in a uh, full collection, alongside a uh, collection for the uh, Monster of Temple Peak uh, miniseries, which for that series and some of the uh, later um, issues of the uh, main Adventure Series will be the first time they're being uh, collected in a uh, comic collection, at least in the uh, U.S., so it is nice to uh, finally have those after not having a actual collection of those issues, and uh, they'll release later this year right before uh, phase three will seemingly start up so uh yeah but uh that's it for the comic news and that's gonna be it for this week's week the star wars recap next week i'll be back talking about something i don't know might not be a lot of stuff because celebration is happening april uh 7th through uh 10th i believe it is which i'll be doing a bunch of content uh talking about you know news and whatnot from celebration this year just like i did last year so, you know, whatever trailer uh, breakdowns or just news videos talking about news things, I'll uh, be doing it all. So you can check all that out then. But in the meantime, you check out my reviews for The Bad Batch and The Mandalorian. So, yeah, but that's going to be it for this one. I've been sorry, you know, I'll catch you guys in the uh, next one. Just learning about how to fight. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. That way. You'll never be lost.